Well, I'm glad you're back. This week uh, we're going to draw something a little bit more challenging. Uh, this is a hornbill, and uh, we could spend a lot of time uh, going into the details of how to draw this and then color and all the rest, but I'm going to just focus on the drawing aspect of it today uh, and let you color it in uh, on your own time, because uh, if, if we were to try to color this and do it in the detail that I would probably like to do it in, uh, we'd probably be here a couple of hours. So uh, so let's focus on drawing. One thing I want you to, to learn to practice on, uh, and you can start with this, but it actually works better with uh, a, a physical object, is learn to do uh, what is called contour drawing. And contour drawing is look at the outside edge of whatever it is you're trying to draw. Now in this case, and you'll see how I do it in just a minute, um, when I when I actually draw this hornbill, my eye is going to trace along the contours, the outside of the bird and then the underside here and all of the different basically shapes, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm, I'm trying to get my hand and my eye to work together. And one of the best ways to learn how to do this is to take a physical object, just some object around your house. Uh, a lot of times I'll use a, a, like a coffee mug or something similar. You can even just take a paper bag and kind of crumple it up, but that's a little bit more complex. It's usually better to start with something simple. But then what you do is you put the object down and you put it in a place where you have to kind of turn your head to look at it so that you're not looking at your paper. So what I typically do, I'm left-handed, so what I will do is uh, if, if I'm practicing contour drawing, blind contour drawing, uh, I will take uh, my coffee mug and I'll put it way over on the right uh, on my right and then I, I look at have to turn my head to look at it and uh, the the trick to this is you draw the entire outline of what uh, you are drawing uh, without ever looking at your paper and without ever taking your pencil or pen off the paper and yeah it looks really pretty terrible uh, when you first start doing this but the more you do it uh, the better you'll get at it and uh, I have found over the years it's one of the the most helpful things I've ever learned how to do uh, is uh, to just do simple blind contour drawing because what it does is it lets me uh, sketch, as we're going to see here in a minute, uh, our bird with uh, a fair amount of accuracy. It's not going to be perfect, but again, I'm not trying to reproduce that photograph. I want to draw my subject and I want to draw it as well as I can. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me just scoot him over there, or her over. I don't know if it's a male or a female. Probably a male, because it's all colorful. Uh, but that's, uh, that's really the, one of the best exercises you can do, uh, is just simple blind contour drawing. Just uh, draw something, but don't look at your paper while you're drawing it. And uh, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out. I'm working again in Autodesk Sketchbook. This is a free program you can uh, get. Uh, it works on all platforms, so if you want to draw digitally with me, uh, that's a great one to get. You just go to sketchbook.com and you can download it. Uh, if you aren't into dig digital art or you don't have what you need to do that, then uh, get a pencil and paper or a pen and paper or a marker or a crayon or whatever. Remember, draw with what you have. And it doesn't have to look like mine. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do have to have fun. So let's have some fun drawing our hornbill. I'm going to start with the beak. And what again, I'm, I'm just going to start right down here. My eye is right on that. And I'm just going to follow that curve. Now what I'm actually doing is what's called modified contour drawing. And that's after you do the blind for a while. Then you can begin to kind of glance back and forth between your subject and your... Uh, your paper, or in this case, my 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 digital screen, my computer screen, uh, and uh, you can draw uh, uh, by looking back and forth. What I normally do when I uh, am drawing like this is I will do my basic drawing, and then I will come back in and refine it a little bit. Um, 
Now in this case, see, I went a little too far there, so I'm going to cut that back. So I just draw along with me. Again, you can download this uh, this image. Uh, we've got a link there on the page. And what I want you to do is just get a feel for how to draw along very simple kind of shapes. It's one of the other things that you'll want to do as as you learn to draw is is identify shapes and uh, when you when you look at the shapes like here you know we've got almost not quite a triangle and again another triangle here um, that helps you if you can if you can just break things down into shapes a little bit I'm gonna have to move my bird here Let's see if I can there he is I'm going to carry it right off the edge. Again, I'm not worrying too much about it being perfect at this point or being even realistic. Right now what I want to do is I just want to try to get the shapes down, get the basic co contour, the, the outline of it down. Okay, this blue starts right about, you know, just a little bit down from the top of the beak. So I'm going to come down about here, and it's sort of a curve, and then another bump, and then almost a peak, and then it comes around, kind of a little flat area there, and then another little bump, and then it begins to feather off back in, in that direction. Okay, and then the bird's eye, if you notice, it's, it's a circle, but it's not a perfect circle. It's kind of a, a, almost an oval uh, it's a little kind of kind of strange shaped there. Okay, it's again. If you look right here, about the center of the eye is just not quite centered on the beak. It's about down here. So I'm going to go here. That would be the center of my eye, and I'm just going to draw it there. Actually, that is a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then let's move him again. I don't know if, what I'll call him. Maybe I'll call him George. Give him a name. Okay, then if you see where the the bottom part or the top part of the the this little yellow section is almost in line not quite in line with the the front so I'm gonna come back here and then it's gonna curve out kinda of like that okay so I have my basic outline uh, of the the bird at this point now what I want to do is refine a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in here we going to come back in and and kind of compare back and forth. Now when you do your first uh, your first drawing, now I, I'm making this very dark so it shows up nicely on the screen and is easier to see. If I were doing this on paper I would be making my initial contours uh, or my init initial contour lines kind of light uh, so that I can erase them without uh, too much trouble. Okay so this is okay. It's kind of abrupt in in you know how it comes down here. It really tapers a little bit more slowly. So I think I'm gonna just bring that maybe down. That makes the peak actually almost too too much there. So let me erase a little bit. Okay. I'm going to broaden that a little bit and take that line out. Okay.
And then one thing I noticed, and I can't, the, the way the lighting is on the picture, I'm not absolutely sure, but I, it looks like right here that that beak kind of curves down and then goes back up into that line. So I'm going to add that in. So it's, it's right about here, and then it curves down and then comes back up and is actually more like that although the this curve is probably a little bit stays down a little bit too long there so let's erase that and actually I'm going to erase that part too let's bring that up just a little bit more And then this bottom part of the beak is way too small here, so I'm going to bring this out more. But now I've got it too rounded on the bottom, so I'm going to have to come back here and taper that in a little bit. Sometimes you just kind of play back and forth until you get what you want. In fact, I actually don't like much of any of that, so I'm going to take that all out. not crazy about that but I'm gonna stay with it for now okay so let's let's move George here okay we around the eye we've got some little lines and then right up in here kind of little circles where the light is reflecting and then kind of I'm just gonna, I'm gonna draw a light line here to suggest kind of where the where the blue is And actually, I'm going to bring this blue out a little bit further. We'll take, take that out. Just for fun, let's go ahead and I'm going to just paint in that eye. And then come back and take that out there. And then our yellow. Bring that up here. Our yellow is going to start right about just kind of under the beak and it's going to come back out that way. And then the white is white is here. Well, this is the blue and that's the white. I'm going to draw these lines nice and solid. Oops. Let's move you out of the way here. Okay. 
And the process of drawing is just looking and sketching and refining and sketching and continuing to work the image. Want really nice dark lines here. I'm still not pleased with this bottom part of the beak. And that's one thing when you're doing art, you can kind of tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and and play with an image until you almost worked it to death. So part of knowing or part of drawing is knowing when to stop too. Remember it doesn't have to be perfect and if you're like me that's one of the hardest things not to try to do because I I will be a perfectionist and try to make it as perfect as I possibly can. And let me shrink this out just a little bit. I can make sure I'm getting everything. Now, typically, doing digital work, I would have actually started this on a new layer because then I could turn off those lines that I'm drawing over. I stayed on the same layer this time. So I can't really turn those off. Let me come back in here and darken that. And I will... Now one of the advantages of digital art is that you can adjust the size of what you're working on. So if you want to work in a little bit more precision, then uh, it's possible to to do that. So I'm going to come in here and shrink down the eye, make it a little bit. Of course, the downside of it is when you're working this big, even the tiniest hand motion can make a big change in the paper. So it's kind of a trade-off. Okay, so let me just put a couple little reflection dots in there. And then come over here. Whoops, working an eraser now. Don't want to erase. Oh, oh, okay, I'm in the wrong color. Okay, I need to get back to what I was working in here. It was that one. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so I can pull him back out again. Oops. And here and strengthen that line. And want to look at it again and see if we want to tweak anywhere, see if we want to make any other changes. And then the next thing we would do is color it in. And now to do that, depending on what you're working with, you're going to have different choices to make. In my case, One of the nice things about digital art is I can come in and 
I can just begin to lay in base colors just like this. So I'm going to come in here with my black. I'm going to come in here with white. Let's see, or. Uh, you know what? Let's go over here with kind of an off white. Come down here with yellow. Come back in here with this kind of bluish black. And come in with the blue again. And then come in with that bluish black again. And I did this all on the same layer. Again, if I were, if I wanted to go into much, much greater detail, then I would have done multiple layers, uh, one for each of these colors. But I just wanted to add a little bit of color there. And that's about all we're going to do for this week. But we will come back next week and maybe I can show you how to add some detail and uh, change or improve. But uh, for starters just work on your basic outline. Work on contour drawing, getting the shape of the, the bird down and then next week we will work on this same picture again but we're going to take it a step farther and uh, give it a little bit more detail than it has right now. But that's all for today. I hope uh, you drew along. I hope you had fun. And uh, next week we'll be back with another drawing lesson.